Aloha everyone and welcome back to another episode of Stay at Home Blues and Oranges brought to you by After School All Stars Hawaii. I'm Auntie Lani and today we will be making malasadas. I hope you're ready. Okay everyone, so before we get started, let's go over our ingredients and our materials that we will be using today to make our malasadas. So first, we're using some pancake mix, some granulated sugar, some cooking oil, water, as for our material, we're going to use a small mixing bowl, a medium-sized mixing bowl, I have one tongs, I have a teaspoon, one-third cup measuring cup, one cup measuring cup, and a half a cup measuring cup. I also have a cutting board as you can see. I have one pot for frying and Auntie Lani's outside in the fresh breeze. And I'm actually going to be using a portable burner today. But if you're at home, you can go ahead and use your stove top, okay? So let's get started. Okay, everyone. So very important, make sure you wash your hands before you start mixing all your ingredients. Auntie Lani had done so off camera. I can't stress to you how important it is, especially right now to make sure you're properly washing your hands, okay? So go ahead and wash your hands and come back and then we can get started. Okay everyone, so now that we properly washed our hands, let's go ahead and start mixing our malasada batter. So we'll go ahead and take the pancake mix here, just like this. We're also gonna be using our large mixing bowl and our one cup measuring cup. Go ahead and measure one full cup a pancake mix, okay? So Auntie Lani is gonna do one full cup. Just a little tip, you can use any type of pancake mix you have on hand or in your house. This quick is really great as well. Auntie Lani is just using this pancake mix because this is what I have. So one full cup of pancake mix right into your bowl. Just like that, okay? We move on to the next step. Okay everyone, so the next step, we'll be adding our water. So Auntie Lani is using my one third cup measuring cup here. As you can see, I'm gonna open my water. So one full cup of one third measuring cup, right into your bowl, just like that. Okay, so Auntie Lani, just like washing dishes, but you know what, it's part of cooking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my measuring cup to mix. So that eliminates a mixing spoon for Auntie to wash later. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my measuring cup. As you can see, here's my mixture in the bowl. I'm just gonna mix it up. You can see, okay? So you might have to add more water and that's fine. Just remember when we're making malasadas, we want more of a thick consistency versus when we're making pancakes, it's more on a thinner side, okay? So if you come, you can see, look how it's coming together. So it looks like I can add a little more water. So from here, you can start using your teaspoon. We can go ahead and add about three teaspoons of additional water, okay? So after adding three teaspoons of water, this is what my batter looks like. I actually want it, I want our batter to be a little bit more runny. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another three teaspoons of water up to you. You choose your consistency. So one, two, and three, and go ahead and mix that as well. So after Auntie Lani added three additional teaspoons to my mixture, this is what I came out with, exactly how I want it. If you were to scoop it up, see how nice and thick it is? That's what I want. This is the consistency that we're looking for, okay? So just like that. So. Your batter should look like this. Okay, we'll set that aside and we'll get started on heating our oil on the stove top. Okay everyone, so now that we have our malasada batter mixed and set aside, let's go ahead and heat our oil over our stove. So Auntie Lani's outside enjoying the fresh air, so I'm using a portable burner as you can see. You're at home so you'll be using your stove top. So please, please, please be extra careful when lighting your stove top. It's very hot, it's a hot surface. so. Be careful, and you will need your pot. So let's go ahead and place our pot 
on our burner or our stove top. Dilani's gonna go ahead and turn my burner on, just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and add my oil. You're gonna use about one cup of oil, okay? Let me just show you how it's gonna look. Oops, excuse me. So we're gonna go ahead and, I don't know if you can see this after. I'm gonna just show you. Can you see? So it's about halfway, my pot is about halfway full of oil, okay? Or filled with oil. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on my fire and we're gonna go ahead and let that heat up. So be careful because when oil is heated up to a certain temperature, it gets really, really hot and you can burn yourself. So um, go ahead and put your fire on low and we'll let the um, oil heat up slowly, okay? So we'll come back and I'll show you how to find out when your oil is ready, okay? Okay, everyone, so Auntie Lani just wanted to throw in one more tip. You can also add vanilla extract to your malasada mix, okay? Or you can add cinnamon It's or pumpkin spice. I love pumpkin spice. It's definitely up to you, but um, Auntie Lani is probably just going to add a little, actually. I want to add some vanilla extract. Let's go ahead and add a teaspoon of vanilla extract, just like that. And we're just going to go ahead and mix that in. And then we'll come back and I'll show you my oil and how I can tell when my oil is ready okay everyone so Auntie Lani just put a teaspoon of vanilla extract in my malasada batter and I went ahead and mixed it in it looks really good so I'm gonna show you how I can tell when my my oil is ready for my malasada it's gonna take a little as you can see here here's my oil I already can tell it's ready but I want to show you so you can go ahead and place this in. You see how it's sizzling? It's ready. So we're gonna go ahead and put our, get our malasada in there. I'm actually just gonna turn my fire down just a little. Okay, so I'm gonna take my bowl here. And as you can see, I already have my batter in my measuring cup, just like that. Auntie Lani, I told you, is a person of less dishes, so I'm improvising. I'm just gonna use my measuring cup to drop my dough into my oil. Another tip, you can also use a ice cream scooper or a cookie scooper would be awesome as well. So just gonna go ahead and drop that in. Oh, it's a nice, the oil is perfect. It's starting to bubble and sizzle. That's what you want. You're gonna go ahead and let your malasada cook on low heat for about a minute and then we'll come back, okay? Okay, everyone, so if you have your fire on low heat, Auntie Lani did tell you to cook it for one minute on one side, so Auntie Lani is gonna flip my malasada. Ooh, look how perfect, nice and golden. And as you can see, it's nice and round. So we're gonna go ahead and let this cook on the opposite side for another minute. And we're using our tongs, as you can see, to flip our malasada. And please be extra careful because the oil is super hot, you do not want to get burned. Okay, so we'll leave this here. We'll let it cook for a whole minute and we'll be right back. Okay, everyone. So while our malasada is cooking, let's go ahead and use our small little mixing bowl here and our granulated sugar. We're gonna go ahead and use our half a cup measuring cup and we're just gonna place half a cup of sugar into this bowl, just like this, okay? And in this bowl, you can also put another tip, you can put ground cinnamon. So what we're going to do is when we take our malasada out, we're going to go ahead and roll it in the sugar. Okay. And so you're going to continue making malasadas until you run out of batter, okay? So Auntie Lani has one more. I'm just going to go ahead and drop that into my oil and let that cook. Ooh, nice and sizzling. Okay. And make sure your fire is on low. So it can cook evenly. Okay, so let that cook. And in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and let our first malasada cool down. Okay, everyone, so I'm gonna jump into my taste test. So I have a paper towel here, and I just wanted to feel my malasada. It's very, um, it's cooled down. I'm just gonna cut right into it. Ooh, let's just break it. Oh boy, look. Oh 
My goodness. Look how yummy that looks. Okay, taste test time. Ooh, that's a big piece. Let me just... <laughs> Taste test. Mmm. That is a malasada, all right. Mmm. It's really good. Nice and crunchy on the outside. Warm and fluffy and dense on the inside. And that sugar on the outside. Oh my goodness. Remember, I told you, if you wanted to, in your sugar mixture, you can go ahead and add cinnamon. Sugar and cinnamon. Throw your malasada in there. It's so yummy. Okay, guys. I gotta say, this is really, really good. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as Auntie Lani is right now. I just wanted to ask you a question. Do you guys know where malasadas originated from? If you do, you can go ahead and comment that answer in the comment box below. But I'm going to tell you anyways. So, um, malasadas are originated from the Portuguese culture. So, it's basically a fried donut. And it's really yummy. It's usually made with flour, sugar, and yeast. Auntie Lonnie's cheating today. I'm using pancake mix. Who would have thought? Pancake mix, so easy. You just add water. You can spruce it up and add some vanilla extract, some cinnamon, and make it your own. And it's so yummy. Easy to make. So comment below. Let Auntie Lonnie know what you thought of this simple, easy Auntie Lonnie's version of malasadas. And until I see you next time, be safe, take care, aloha.